Okay, welcome back to Learn Golf with Cassie. Today we're going to be taking a look at um, some of her short game shots over the last few rounds of golf to see if we can see whether there's any areas that she can improve upon um, and just see what's going well and what we can work on moving forward with the short game. Um, she's been pretty good, um, but we can take that base of solid play now and take it up a notch because that was one of the things that we noticed that the other girls that she played with in the recent tournament were just a little bit ahead of her. They would be very sharp around the greens, um, very sharp from within 50 to 100 yards. And that's an area that Cassie can easily uh, sharpen up. And with a few good drills, we should be able to get her into the place where we want her to be. So I'm going to show you some of the videos of the good stuff and point out what we can do to actually improve those areas. So we're going to start with recovery shots. I'm going to freeze them to see her finish position. That was a good turn, good straight hands and easy pitch out. Watch this one. This one wasn't such a good one. Watch how her hands are broken. Let's flip the ball into tree and then come out. If we go to bunker shots, um, this was a good one result wise but look at how her hands have stopped and hands have been flipped through she's got that out okay same shot kind of half finish there we go half a finish and it, she gets enough energy and good enough contact it's all good but when she doesn't this happens there's there you can see the hands jam into the sand she doesn't finish round this one she manages to get out but it's the same shot basically if she gets the good contact it it's, looks okay short game around the short pitches looks really pretty solid that's a lovely chip you watch her turn all the way through and hold strong wrists pop it up there roll it down two really good chips and a third one here you can see when she's practicing she's turning all the way through didn't quite finish as high in the actual shot but um, with this shot she's close enough she made the putt for all of those three so she made pars on all those ones this was in the tournament now you can see she stopped very short so she's got enough energy to get it on the front but it needs a lot of long run out um, distance and she had it on that hole this one same again she pops it up Good height, lands it on the front, it rolls quite a long way. Perfect shots for these positions, but if she's short-sided, that's going to be a problem. So here's another one, it's got plenty of green. This one, she finishes a bit further around, so it goes a little bit higher and lands a bit softer. She made that as well. So the point being here, that if she doesn't finish high enough, and just jamming it up there, it pops up. She's got to get it perfect in terms of distance, otherwise it runs on a lot. This was um, also at Sun City. This one, she jammed it up there, which was a good shot in this position because um, it was up the hill against the grain. And with these little short pitches, she turns quite nicely. This one, she stops. There it is. It pops out. This one was a slightly bit downhill and she's off the front. So by stopping and sort of mini punch, she's getting a lot of run on the shots and they don't stop near the hole. This was a really nice shot. You watch the finish, at least halfway, flies it up there, lands at the front, a fair bit of roll, but not excessive. Good, good result. This one is the other danger one. This is a terrible result if the hands the hands release and flip. She hits a skinny ball right over the back. Now she actually made the up and down there, but this is um, also the other one that she just stops and pops. This one, she didn't get the energy, so she was way short and she made a three putt from there. So this same thing, stop and pop. It looks okay in the air, but because she's not continuing the, the turn through, ball ends up a fair bit short, leaving her a longer two putt to make. This one's a good example. 
she's going up the hill so it's going to work it looks really good swing on the practice nice finish but you watch the actual execution bang stop so she's popping it up on this one it was okay because we had a backstop but if it'd been a different green that would have gone miles past and again that was a much better shot she had the higher finish with the hands and that was stopped really quick this one was fairly good half finish this was in the rain went over a little bit but there you go you can see the stop on the punch and that one was a very difficult shot but it and it was she executed it well but it still went over the back so we want her to try and finish higher generally speaking and this one um, you can see she does finish at halfway flies it right up the flag stops it right by the flag and another couple of pitch shots finishing this one uh, halfway the result on the green just a bit long but makes the par another example this one she actually does turn through halfway just a tiny bit short but actually that's an e as a better miss than way long and this one she does a really nice backswing and a really nice follow through really good the ball flew really high landed nice and quick onto the green so that's a shot that we would like to see more often sometimes here's another one where she punched it popped it the flight was excellent but you see it landed right next to the flag and rolled out 20 yards okay so um you can see there was a lot of good stuff there um probably the key takeaway is to make sure that the the follow through continues more without the hands um, and the wrist breaking too early the deadly shots she plays are when the wrists break too early either flips it low skinny with the blade or pops it up too short so losing um, a bit of the energy because the swing is kind of truncated so we want to have her finishing higher all of those shots that she played really well and had great results the the you know the body turned with the swing and she finished higher all of the other ones which were still pretty good I mean they were they were all on the green or but leaving herself a much further away and that's where she gets the three and in yes to last time four putts um, because they are kind of punched out popped up there's no way for the ball to stop quickly enough and you end up with a 20 30 foot putt even when you've played quite a nice shot so we want her to be um, working on the finish and that's going to be a lot to do with um, a good tempo in the swing generally rather than kind of hitting it the, at the ball um, keeping a good tempo um, throughout the swing so you'll be seeing some of those videos coming up and some drills on that in the coming weeks okay thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the uh, analysis and um, we'll see you soon give us a like and um, remember to hit that notification bell because that will tell you when we've sent out a new video which is usually Monday or Tuesday and then Wednesday or Thursday. Okay, see you then. Bye-bye.